with another video. We got three stocks that are going to be moving insane. We actually have more than three stocks, but I kind of have my top three out of these. Okay, the first one's going to be Citigroup that we're going to talk about. The other one's going to be JPM. And the next one's going to be Morgan Stanley. And then we're going to talk about Wells Fargo also. Notice how all these have something similar is they're all bank stocks. Now, why is that? Because bank stocks have earnings today. I mean, not today, this week, okay? And they're around the end of the week, so they're going to give us time to kind of set up for play. I am looking to play the bank earnings, probably um, not all of them, but I'm looking to play the top two to three bank earnings, and then I'm looking to play something else too, because we're going to talk about Delta Airlines, okay? We're going to talk about the airlines, and Delta is first, okay? And we have United and American next week. So Delta is going to help us set up for American and UAL. So if I'm not looking to play Delta, I'm looking for that to set up for me to play UAL and AL. So just make sure you stay tuned. Good video today. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure, make sure you get this video over 100 likes before the next video comes out. The next video comes out in five hours. All I ask from you guys is to smash the like button. It'll take you one second. It's right there down below. Just click it. I appreciate it for the levels I give you guys. All this stuff, knowledge, just smash the like button. That's it, okay? And also, as you guys saw from the beginning of the video, big announcement. I'm closing the membership December 31st. So if you're not in before December 31st, I mean, if you're not, yeah, if you're not in before this Thursday, you won't be able to join. I don't know how long I'm going to close it. I'll probably close it for like a week, maybe a month, but I'm going to close it, okay? The main goal, got a lot of stuff coming, so I'm going to close it. I want it nice and small, nice and niche, because I got a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff coming. And whoever wants to be in there will join before December 31st. Like I said, it could be closed for a day. It could be closed for a week. It could be closed for a month. Okay, so just make sure you join. First thing in that description, last week, we did over 137% gains in profits. We took some losses. Honeywell lost negative 23%. Matterport lost negative 8%. But then we had Visa, 22% gain win, UPS, 24% gain win, Tesla, 28% gain win here, right? So we do take losses, but we take more wins and losses, 137%. Make sure you join the team and also teach you guys how to trade in this market. So if you want to learn how to trade, it all starts with the first link in the description. And let's get into the video, okay? Now, what I'm going to talk about first are the banks, and then I'll go to the airlines. Because what we want to know is banks have earnings. Now, we also have Pepsi earnings Wednesday. Um, before market, but the big movers are going to be starting Thursday pre-market, okay? So if I want to play any of these, I would have to play them Wednesday, okay? So we have BlackRock. Like I said, we have Delta Airlines, but we talk about the airlines after. Let's talk about the banks first. We got BlackRock, and this is all before market um, on when, uh, Thursday. So we got BlackRock. We also have TSM. We're going to talk about that too, and we also have Walgreens down here. Okay, so we have BlackRock before market, after market, nothing. But Friday before market, we got Citigroup, we got JPM, we got Morgan Stanley. We also have PNCB. Uh, we also have USB, uh, US Bank Corp. We also have United Healthcare and then Wells Fargo here. So all the banks will be going Friday pre-market. But I think Thursday pre-market, we're going to get a little head start because of BlackRock. Okay, now something else that I've seen that was kind of crazy, if you go here, Look at what they're uh, expecting off of Morgan Stanley. 1,685 expected growth off of Morgan Stanley, okay? I want to see if that changes. I'm going to see what's up with this, okay? Because if that's true, they should have a big pop on Morgan Stanley if they actually come out with the estimates and the revenue, okay? But if they lose any of this, that's going to be a big hard drop on them. So now you know why I'm looking to play it. They all have earnings this week. Now, with that being said, so like I said, I have Citigroup, JPM. Now, which one looks the clearest? Now, I'm going to give you guys a level on all of them, but then I'll show you which one I'm looking to play the heaviest, okay? So, this is a resistance level. So, I'll give you guys a resistance level that I'm looking for entry. That's it. This one level I'm looking at on each stock. This one is 43. So, what I'm looking at is I'm looking for a pull up back to that 43 area. So, if it continues to drop, I probably won't play it. But if it pulls up back to that 43 area, that's where I'll be looking at to get put options to trade lower probably looking to take that to about forty dollars and lower as an exit target so all the exit targets i'm gonna give to the team so if you want the exit targets of all these plays make sure you join the team first thing in that description it will be closed december 31st when i open it back up it might be a week might be a month but just make sure you're in 
before December 31st, okay? And also prices will be going up on November 1st. So just make sure you join. Got a lot of stuff coming for you guys, okay? So 43 exit, um, 43 as an entry, then taking that to $40 as my exit. <clears throat> and don't worry, I'm gonna give you guys my top ones I'm looking to play. Just uh, let me give you guys this uh, resistance level that I'll kind of be looking at. And then on JPM, this one will be 108. Oh, actually, let me write the ticker symbol. I think I forgot to do it for the other one. So the other ticker symbol was Citigroup. It was ticker symbol C for the first one that we talked about. The one we're on now is JPM. So that's ticker symbol JPM for JP Morgan. That's Chase. Exit level. Entry level is 108. Looking to take that one down probably to around $100. So these are some big put option plays I'm looking at also. Okay, so 108 entry target. I'm looking for a little retracement up, right? Just like Citigroup. Then we have Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley. I'm looking at an entry price target, maybe I would say around $81. And this is Morgan Stanley, ticker symbol MS, MS. Because I think whatever the banks do, the banks are going to be moving the market this week. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, that one is $81 I'm looking at for an entry on put options on Morgan Stanley. Okay, ticker simple MS. Then let's go to Wells Fargo. Like I said, I'm looking to play all of them, but I do have my top ones. I would say about $42 on Wells Fargo. That's why I'm looking for some retracement up. Remember, we don't chase price on the downside. We don't chase price on the upside, right? It will always give us a better entry. So there's no need to chase price right now. Ticker symbol WFC for Wells Fargo. WFC for Wells Fargo. $42 is that entry point I'm looking at to really trade this one down. And then for BlackRock. BlackRock, I'll be looking. BlackRock, probably around like $565. And also, mind you, some of these probably won't have a good option chain. That's something I teach you guys out also. Um, if the option chain isn't good, you really don't want to play options on it. So we'll see how the option chain looks on these Monday also. And that will really confirm my top ones I'm looking to play. But 565, I'm looking at for an entry. Probably trade this one below like $500 or so. But that is a entry target I'm looking at. Now, out of all the banks, my first top one I want to play is Wells Fargo. So Wells Fargo is probably my top one I'm looking to play out of all the banks. WFC. Looking to probably go the heaviest on this one. What? Because it just has a little more cleaner price action than the other ones do. Okay, just a little more cleaner. So kind of watch out for that. But also, what could happen, this could happen. Instead of it pouring down, we could get a rise up. Let me zoom out. We could get a rise up, right? And then it might want to come down. It might not start here. So we also want to be careful that we don't get caught in that reversal up right so something like this we don't want to get caught like this say how it's down here we want to go down we don't want to get caught in this and then it goes down right so that's going to kill a lot of theta a lot of premium we rather get in on that downside so that is something else i'm watching on uh, wells fargo but wells fargo is one of my uh, it is my top ones out of the banks okay and then uh for my second top one out of the banks it would be Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley would be my second one. Top one I'm looking to play out of the banks. Okay, so that's ticker symbol MS. Now, let's go to the airlines and we're going to go over TSM for Taiwan Semiconductor. Now, like I told you guys, we got the airlines. I believe this one was Wednesday. No, it was Thursday pre-market, right? So we have Thursday pre-market. We have Delta. Now, I feel like whatever happens on Delta is going to push over like sympathy plays to like American Airlines, um, UAL and stuff like that. So it's going to push over. But whatever happens to Delta, I feel is going to happen to those two. So we can kind of project and how I'm looking to play them. So they're looking to about 41 percent growth. But I feel like a lot of um, companies are going to be like bad guidance. They're probably going to lower a lot of stuff. They're probably going to be missing these EPS and revenues that the market has for them. So I am expecting some downward side on them. And then if we go over TSM, let me, let me take this off. TSM is going to be, let me find the day. I think it was on Wednesday. 
Okay, so yeah, it's Thursday pre-market for TSM, Taiwan Semiconductor. Now, we already had some bad news out of AMD, but this is Thursday pre-market, so that's why I'm kind of expecting some downside on TSM also. But let's go over Delta real quick. So a key level on Delta, it really hasn't pulled down a lot. So I would say for now, about $30 is where I'd be looking at for a entry on Delta to get put options. But like I said, be careful. We don't want to get caught in like a reversal because it could go here and then start going up and then want to go down. So that is something else that I'm kind of watching out for. I don't want to get caught in that reversal, but $30 kind of where I'm looking at to get um, some put options on Delta. Like I said, I'm bearish right now. So I'm mainly looking for put options. I'm mainly looking for downside. Yes, I'm building the longs that you want to be doing because we won't see prices this low for a long time. Okay, so build those longs, know what companies you want to get in for long term, start building those positions out. But just mindful, it's going to be painful the rest of this year and probably the beginning of the next year. Okay, it's going to be painful. So just make sure you prepare for that. But Delta $30, looking for that as an entry. I, pray, I might be going heavier on this one on Delta because I think we won't see some good news out of there. And then but but then again, um, travel and spending, like people traveling and stuff has been up. So Delta could do good. That's why I kind of want to see what Delta does to kind of uh, position me for UAL and American Airlines. Then we have TSM. Now, the news came out on AMD that wasn't good. And TSM had some movement off of that. So we already kind of had some sympathy type of movement. But I am looking for some type of retracement up to about $72.00. Because I think they're going to have the same type of thing as AMD did, right? So AMD came out with some news. And look at that huge pull down on AMD. AMD has got murdered, okay? That's kind of what I'm expecting off of TSM. Because you can already tell TSM had a sympathy movement off of that AMD news, okay? So I'm looking for a little retracement up. I don't think we need too much retracement up right here. And then I'm looking to pour down. That will be the key point there, okay? And I, like I said, for my exits on all these, just make sure you join the team. I'll let you guys know. I have like a list of it and I'll put my X's for each one. Okay. But also make sure you watch the videos I before this one. I got a video on AMC stock, got a video on two highly shorted stocks and a video on Elon Musk selling Tesla stocks. So make sure you watch those three videos. Subscribe. Let's get the channel over 100K subscribers. Follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. The Instagram link is right here too, just in case, will.knowledge. Make sure you follow me. And then also I know some people ask me, this is the um, where you sign up, right? You can pay yearly. So you get two free months when you pay for the year. Okay, you do get two free months when you pay for the year. It is available for you guys. Private live streams and buys and sells. More importantly, I teach you guys how to trade. Okay, so if you want to build that knowledge, build yourself as a trader, it all starts first thing in that description. Prices go up November 1st, then I'm closing it December 31st. So make sure you are in before December 31st. I'm telling you now, because when it's closed, I don't know how long I'm going to close it. I might close it for a week. I might even close it for a day, but I might close it for a month. Okay, because I have a lot of stuff coming and I'm going to close it so we can get all that stuff out. And you're only paying one price for everything, right? So it's a big old bundle. And trust me, you're going to want to be in before December 31st. Now, with that being said, you can click join here because I know I have some people ask me. You see where it says right here, join by using credit card or debit card in red? That's the link. All you have to do is click that link. And then it's going to take you here where you can put in the card, okay? It's going to take you here where you can put in the card. I need to update that pricing. So you might want to hurry up before that pricing updates. But you can put card there, okay? So thank you guys for joining the team. And uh, always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.